Steady rainfall. This is over the last 24 hours, mainly the southern half of the state, where we've gotten a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch, pretty much pretty consistently, pretty widespread. Some locations did get a little bit more. Look at Las Cruces, three quarters of an inch of rainfall. Silver City, about an inch and a quarter. We are still dealing with the tropical remnants of Odile, and this is going to continue to bring the scattered showers into our area. Mainly light, but we are going to see some pockets of heavy rainfall as we go through the day, and then the flooding and the flash flooding is going to be a concern as well. But here's a look at the big picture. You can see a lot of moisture with this system still streaming into the southern part of the state, and really this is going to be moving towards the north and east today, drawing a lot of that moisture right across the state, but you can see outside most of us uh, from Albuquerque northward dry just with some of the clouds, but southward, especially towards the south and west, this light, this rainfall is on the lighter side. A few pockets of moderate rain, but heavier pockets as we get you down towards Carlsbad, towards Hobbs, towards Eunice as well. That's where we have the heaviest rainfall, and we have been getting reports of some minor street flooding in Carlsbad due to that heavy rainfall. But as we continue to talk about the flooding concerns really through tonight and even into early tomorrow morning in some locations, we do have that flash flood watch in place. And again, almost the entire entire southern half of the state. We're also seeing some flash flood warnings down towards our far south and east early this morning. So we're going to continue to watch that threat. Heaviest rain I am anticipating to be south of the metro area today where we will have the flooding concerns because we're expecting an additional one to three inches of rainfall on top of already saturated ground. Uh, that's really going to lead to some of the issues. Not necessarily a whole lot of rain, fast rain, uh, but definitely that consistent scattered moderate rainfall. But here's a look at through the day later on into the evening. Could get some of the showers and storms lifting into the metro area up towards Las Vegas. But as we take a look at some of the forecasted rain numbers, you can see just how a light the rain will be for the northern part of the state. A couple hundredths of an inch there. Santa Fe, Albuquerque could get a tenth of an inch to three tenths of an inch. But down towards the south, an additional one to three inches possible in some locations. So taking you through the day in the metro area, we will have the clouds. So we'll have the mostly cloudy to even overcast sky at times with the scattered light showers possible as we get you towards the five o'clock hour. Temperatures hitting the low 70s in many locations today. A little bit warmer because we'll have the drier skies up in parts of southern Colorado for today. But as we take you into your Friday, rain and storm chance does start to shift more towards the north and east, and we'll start to see some slightly drier skies. But into southern Colorado, here's a look at that seven day forecast. We've got the upper 70s, the 80s, partly cloudy skies, and the rain chance very limited today, only at about 10%. Into the north and west again. Lots of 70s and 80s, some of the warmer temperatures with the isolated shower chance sitting at around 20% for today. Even warmer temperatures tomorrow into the weekend. Into the south and west, dealing with the steady showers already this morning. We'll continue to see steady rain through the afternoon, keeping our rain chance very high today with highs in the 60s and the 70s. Then as we make our way into the south and east, we have the 60s and 70s as well with a chance for showers and storms. We do have some heavy pockets of rainfall early this morning, so in Carlsbad, Lovington, Hobbs, you'll definitely want to give yourself a few extra minutes to get to work this morning. Be mindful of ponding on the roadways and definitely some of that rushing water in some of the low lying areas and in the arroyos for today. As we make our way to the north and east, still the chance for scattered showers, but our rain chance only at 20% for today. Highs will be in the 70s, 76 in, in Springer. Then as we make our way into the northern mountains, 65 in Red River, 69 in Angel Fire, 75 degrees in Taos with scattered showers possible. But again, a rain chance on the lower end, only at about 30% for the northern mountains. The east mountains today, showers will be possible. I've put our rain chance at 50% with a high of about 73 in Cedar Crest and in Sandia Park. And then the metro area will have the low to mid 70s. Some of the warmer numbers in Rio Rancho where we'll get to 77 but we are going to have the chance for some scattered showers, mainly light rainfall here in the metro area and our rain chance under that 50% mark. Definitely the heavier rainfall, the more steady rain is going to be south of us as we get you through the afternoon and evening. Then Friday into the weekend with all this moisture around and the temperature starting to warm back up, we'll start to see the development of those isolated storms into the afternoon. Uh, so overall, our rain chance is going to go down. It won't be as gray, but we okay. will look for the few pockets of wet weather. All right. But much